Our mission is to nurture human beings, young human beings, into wholesome, selfless leaders who are always willing uh, to light up others through their services. It is my hope that you, the audience, will see a glimpse of our Dharma Warriors in training. In our school, morality is broken into three sub-factors. First one is right speech, second one is right um, action, third one is right livelihood. It not only teaches the student the confidence to do public speaking, but our topics involve our 10 moral codes of conduct, which entails right speech, right uh, action, right livelihood. But you can't succeed if you don't make mistakes. People think that mistakes are bad, but we humans make mistakes for a reason. And that reason is to learn from our mistakes. Words can have a powerful effect on our mind, even though there's no physical contact. Harmful words can torment their victims, cause stress and affect people's mind and well-being. Often people are of the view that good people are, are, are often too passive and inactive uh, individuals to be able to do anything good. Unfortunately, this view is often correct. If we look at the world which we live in, it is on fire. On fire from what you may ask. Our world is, on, on, is lit by the fire of greed, hatred and delusion. The attributes of unwholesome people. So by providing uh, uh, our Kappa training ground, our Dharma warriors can train to become active, energetic and confident. In this way, they are trained to renounce their fear and their conceit in humility for the purpose of going forth to bring light and coolness into the world. One of the way in which we make the student understand that to be a good person, to have great uh, right thinking, is through cooking. So our Right Livelihood program is actually a cooking program that encourages students to develop four basic simple values. One is accountability, responsibility, respect uh, and integrity. Today I'll be making a blueberry lemon yogurt cake. I'm making this cake today because this is one of my favorite cakes and my mom always bakes this for us. Melted already? When one serves another, one needs to perform the service with compassion, with loving kindness, with selflessness and patient understanding. This is indeed a difficult task for the average human being living in a materially driven world. This is how you make my dad's special fried rice. And the filling is really nice. So you can see inside what the filling looks like. It's actually beautiful.
How does it taste, Mom? Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Daunted of his challenge, we, we knew we had to go seeking for first principle knowledge in order to find a motivation for people to be able to, serve, to be of service to others. Finding the first principle knowledge meant that we had to turn inward, that is, inward into the human mind. Essentially, we needed a user manual that could provide answers on the how-to um, uh, for this complex machinery called the human beings. This mammoth of a task appeared almost a mission impossible for mere unenlightened beings such as us. Fortunately though, a fully enlightened being known as the Buddha left us a manual known as the Dharma. This Dharma contained the first principle knowledge about humans. So from the knowledge of the great human manual, we have created different training grounds for our student to train in in order to become Dharma warriors. That is, warriors who, with a selfless purpose, are able to serve with a heart and mind imbued with loving kindness, with compassion, selflessness and patient understanding, lighting up the world with safety and protection. I'm now studying a topic for a whole day. How does that, how does greed play in that? that resulted in her now studying a topic for a whole day instead of just an hour, two hours. Yes, is that Kayla? Or... Yes, sir. Yep, go ahead. Um, our greed uh, makes us want to like, play games or go on our phone instead of doing our work, which uh, leads to bad time management, making us study more um, closer to the exam instead of being prepared. Yes, thank you very much. A very honest, candid answer. Thank you. You see, the average person continues to do wrong in life because they cannot see what they do wrong in the past. If one learn to look into one's own journey, no one else's journey, but one's own journey, and see the wrong and the right that we do, we will start to enjoy and see the fruits of the right path and we start to see the poison of the fruits from the wrong path that we walk. 